Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey today at the LA Police Department Museum in Highland Park. In this adventure, we travel about eight miles from downtown Los Angeles to Highland Park, California, which is the home of the Los Angeles Police Museum. The Police Museum has a large free parking lot, and the entrance to the museum is $9 each for adults. In the back of the Police Museum, they have several vehicles on display. We would really enjoy getting a comment from you, and this would be a great time to subscribe so you won't miss any of our content. The Police Museum. It's very, very cool inside. Very old building. This police station cost $100,000 to build when it opened in 1926. Well, there's the telephone. Yeah, well, the, the communications. <laughs> oh, that's right. Look at all the bulbs down there. Remember how you used to change the, the tubes on the television? Look at the police telephone. The first thing you are greeted with is the old reception area with the old communication devices and then it's on to the jail cells. When we asked if there was a map of the museum, we were told no, just wander wherever you want on the first and second floor and among the vehicles in the back of the building. The old booking devices. That's so cool. Names and... You're allowed one phone call. After the booking process, you may use the payphone. Oh, that's the one phone call. There's your one phone call. Mom, Mom, come get me. I'm trapped. I got arrested. It's been well used. And then here's the jail. How cool is this? That's a pretty little toilet. <laughs> oh, a collection of old handcuffs. 1930s to the present. I guess you have to guess which ones are the present. <laughs> we are completely alone in this place. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> what is that? The number. Your booking number. That's a great face. <laughs> every every cell's got the restraints in it. Yep. This is not a fun place. Don't lock yourself in there permanently. We'll have to get you out. This is the cell block. Drains are number one. Celebrity scandals that rock the city of angels. <laughs> Look at that. I think it's Keanu Reeves. See this little sign right here? It's sitting back over here. Pretty cool. Booking stuff from Charles Manson's. The Manson murders. The onion field. Kidnapping. Really? Wow. The gun. These are the evidence. The interrogation room. The one way, one way glass. I'm coming. I hear you someplace. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm like I lost you. With the bat. And on the other side of the interrogation room, there's the woman's side of the jail cell. 
You pan the main thing though. You in the picture right there. You part of the Manson girls. Oh. <laughs> the girls had solid walls between them. Of course, there's only two of them. <laughs> it was like four guys. Wonder what that tells you. The entire building is a maze of rooms. It's one of those kind of places that you immediately think, if the walls could talk, the things that must have taken place here. Pantoscopic bullet camera. That's interesting. Oh, let's take a picture of the bullets. Oh, that's so what it is. put it on the... On the thing right here? Yeah, on the, yeah. they put it on the... Uh, on, that, on that part right there. They put the bullet on there and take a picture of it. Wow. Check that out. He said there's a downstairs, but nobody's allowed down there. It's not for public viewing. It's not for public viewing. It's not, not for, look at, look at this thing. A battering ram. <laughs> wow. This is, it's a fortress. And the old robots. So what was this called? There's the robots. The old robots. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Even the other one looks newer. See, look. There's the camera on the top, and then it's got robotic arms. It says part of the bomb squad on the top. That's pretty cool. Several vehicles are on display. Paddy wagons, squad cars, and bullet riddled vehicles of all types. Oh, that North Hollywood bank heist? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, look at all this is. Yeah, it says North Hollywood shootout, 75 bullets. Uh, L.A. Police Museum. It's a 1996 Ford Crown Victoria black and white patrol. These are the cars that were used in the North Hollywood shootout. Oh, that North Hollywood bank heist? Yeah. Oh. yeah. They should have a sign on it or something. Oh Look, at, Look, at Look at all the bullet holes. Yeah. It says North Hollywood bullet holes. You can't see it because of this. Bing. The North Hollywood Shootout is also known as the Battle of North Hollywood. It was a confrontation between two heavily armed and armored bank robbers. It happened on February the 28th, 1997. Both of the robbers were killed during the shootout. Oh my gosh, look at all this is... Yeah, it says North Hollywood Shootout, 75 bullets. Uh, L.A. Police Museum. It's a 1996 Ford Crown Victoria black and white patrol. But you can see these bullet marks. Wow. Look at all of these. You can see where the bullets hit the inside too. Not only were the two robbers killed in this shootout, but there were 12 police officers and eight civilians that were injured, and numerous vehicles and other property were damaged. Nearly 2,000 rounds of ammunition were fired by the robbers and the police. We actually had a couple of uh, friends that got caught in that. I'm going around the whole car because, yep, see, there's more right there. If you look, also the front headlight got cut. This was the car that they used. An 87 white Nova suspect vehicle from North Hollywood shootout. 
at all those, all the windows are shot out. Rob. Hey Rob, how's it going? This is the LAPD bomb squad. Looks like a giant forklift. Wow. And then it says, bomb squad, stay 300 feet back. Police cruiser. The old Chevy. This is the, the bomb squad. This is where when they get a bomb they they put it inside of this thing here. In this sphere and then they blew it up inside of there. But it didn't work. But this was the early version of the one that they took to that neighborhood where they put all the firecrackers in and it blew apart the neighborhood and all the windows and but this is the earlier version yeah it didn't work oh, look at that look at the old paddy wagon this is an old paddy wagon paddy wagon amazing Look at that. It says, watch your head. Okay. Well, let's get in there. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Alright. Hang on. Okay, I'm in the paddy wagon. Boy, I mean, I can just barely stand up. I've got the wooden seats here. It says, please look, but don't touch. Let's see. But you can get in here. This looks like that was probably for one of the security guards. Watch your head. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool that you can get in there. Yeah. You're stuck in there. Yeah. <laughs> you leave it open, I'm going to get in. <laughs> Very carefully. Yeah, old paddy wagon. Yeah. Hey, break her out of jail. This one's a 1995 Impala. You've got a flat tire. And an old armored car. I'm coming to see this old police car. That's a police car from back in the day there. A 1929 Ford Model A. Put the stairs there, I'm going in. <laughs> you're, you're screwed now. <laughs> All right, let's see. How's our helicopter pilot? And we got the helicopter. So you can hear the helicopter. It's already going. <laughs> That's so cool. Fly, come fly with me. The friendly skies. With CR Journey. How was your flight, Captain? Yeah, that's the, the actual police helicopter. This here is the new motorcycle. You've got your siren down there. Horn. Your siren horn. Look how cool that looks. That is a... Griffin? 
<laughs> Andy Griffith. That's what it looks like, Andy Griffith. <laughs> Barney's car. <laughs> Barney's car. Barney Strife? Barney Fife. They got Barney's car. Bar Bar There's where the computer goes. <laughs> oh, it looks like that's a computer. Well, the computer is. Oh, they write it down in there. You write it by hand. Oh, I see. <laughs> this is the newer version of the paddy wagon. Says it's a 1967 Ford B wagon. It should be P wagon, shouldn't it? For paddy wagon? <laughs> Wow. Yeah. She's gonna steal the paddy wagon. Let's go. Wow. That is so cool in here. So now we gotta go back inside and go upstairs. Check it out. Old photos from back in the day. And we're headed upstairs. And that's a big place upstairs too. This is this is dedicated to Adam. Adam. Adam 12. Police officers in the television program Adam 12 were played by Martin Milner and Kent McCord. Adam 12 was an American police crime drama television series. The series ran over seven seasons from September 1968 to May of 1975. This gun belonged to Martin Milner. The series was created by Jack Webb and Robert Sinder, aimed at being realistic in the depiction of police work and helped familiarize the American public with police procedures and jargon. Pete Malloy, it was his gun. And his uniform. How cool is that? Kent McCord. Complete uniform worn in season one. Pretty cool. There's lots of memorabilia on display from the show. Right down to comic books and lunch boxes, as well as the props. And plenty of memorable pictures. The lunch pail, the comics. This is awesome stuff. Sharon Claridge played herself as a police, dispatcher, and desk clerk. Claridge's voice can be heard in almost every episode. One Adam 12, one Adam 12, several. And she only physically appeared in one episode in season five. Claridge was an actual LAPD dispatcher and acting was a side job. She retired from the LAPD in 1990. And then this is about Dragnet. Jack Webb was created Dragnet, but he also created Adam-12. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. I work here. I carry a badge. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. There's a police badges from the show Dragnet. How cool is that? <laughs> we enjoyed seeing Mickey Jones, who was an actor and Bob Dylan's drummer, explaining about the police reserve. He was also the drummer for Kenny Rogers in the first edition and played on every one of his albums. Gallery of LAPD uniforms. No. <laughs> it looks like it, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> this is just awesome. That's an awesome collection. They have the eagle wings. Yeah, look at the picture. This is on bank robbers. I'm just turning around slowly. Hypernia bank robbery. I remember that one. See, it says the kidnapping of Tisha Burris. Speaks of her captivity, the flight from two teachers was kept blindfolded about the gap in an unventilated closet that was 24 inches. All of our rains have taken a toll on this old building. What was this? She's looking at things from the SLA. <laughs> was that what it stood for? Yeah. Simeon Liberation Army. SLA. It was uh, Patty Hearst kid kidnapping. Patty Hearst announced on an audio tape that she had joined the SLA. Oh, that's Patty Hearst's rifle right there. Where? There's a rifle right here. This one down here? This, this one right here. Yeah. On April the 3rd, 1974, two months after her abduction, Hearst was recorded on a surveillance video wielding an M1 carbine while robbing the Sunset District branch of the bank. There she is holding it right there. <laughs> Every room in this museum has a different portion of police history and major cases dedicated to explaining about each case that was handled within the city of Los Angeles. The rooms also have all of the evidence that was collected from many of the crime scenes. If you're a person that enjoys police shows on TV or crime dramas, then you would love to explore all of the rooms within the police museum. Wow, North Hollywood Shootout exhibit. I didn't realize they had a whole exhibit of it. Yeah, got a whole exhibit. <laughs> Take over robbery exhibit. There was a neighborhood under siege. Don't come out, don't come out. Yeah. As chaos thing? unfolded. Who knew that they even had it? In the bank, a huge monster in black yelled, hit the floor. And they even have the piece of the... Bulletproof glass. Wow. Where the bullets went through the bulletproof glass. <laughs> they were using bullets that would penetrate the bulletproof glass. The cars were outside. A guy that worked for me was locked in the bank on that day at the Bank of America. It's kind of scary. Look at all the bullet rounds on the floor. $350,000 was the amount in the robbery that was taken from the bank. And the money was ruined when the thieves left the bank and the ink booby trap exploded in the bag. Wow. Look, there's those, there's those cars that were out in the back. <laughs> that we already yeah. took pictures of. Well, you'll have to. And the, the poor cops only used these, these guns at the time. <laughs> against machine guns. Yeah, they're over there. The police went up against machine guns with rifles at this time. Ever yeah, since... AK-47s. Ever since then, they've got AK-47s as part of the police arsenal too. <laughs> this right here changed the police... Tactics. Tactics, or the type of guns that they used. 40 minutes proved to be an absolute nightmare filled with gunfire hostages and pure terror for everyone involved shots fired officers need help within seconds units began responding from all over san fernando valley in the city what followed was one of the most prolonged and shocking gun battles in the history of lapd arriving officers were faced with a steady stream of automatic rifle fire 
Officers and civilians were shot. Bodies were lying exposed to gunfire while additional officers attempted to rescues and were in turn shot. Calls echoed over the radio for help and I've been shot. Uh, officers armed with only their sidearms and some with shotguns were useless against the long range fought, uh, rifles and fought back bravely. The police commissioner the gallery for the police commissioners. Firearms authorized by the police commission at that time. <laughs> up until up until that last one that we just saw. This is what the police commission authorized officers to use. Parker Center was the Los Angeles Police Headquarters from 1955 to 2009, but the building became outdated. Town, Parker Center. Go stand over there. We keep the old signs. <laughs> I love the old signs. Yeah, the manual. You could look up anything. Look, she turned into a she turned into a cop. They had Mickey in the background there. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Is a kill shot. Free, I'm free, and let me go. <laughs> hey, let me go. I posted bail. One dollar. <laughs> An extremely enjoyable museum to explore. Not well known and not on the tour routes. You have to know it's there, but well worth spending a few hours. If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell. And give us a like, it lets us know you care. Don't forget to comment, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.